Mm-hmm. Love doing yoga. Where do you live? I live in Valley Village. Valley Village. Where is that near? That's like where the the corners meet a Sherman Oak studio. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We have Runyon Canyon. I did a nice hike at Runyon Canyon yesterday. That was so beautiful, and it was, it's it's so nice because you're in the city, and then right out here you have the mountains, and you have the L.A. forest, and you know you know so much to do. The ocean. Right, right. But see, you're right next to the ocean. You're right there in paradise. Just a walk away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. Do you, I look forward to having you guys here. I look forward to getting you here as soon as possible, okay? And I as do all schedules also, permit. Absolutely, and, and, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll make this happen. Do you believe that various styles of music affect your style? Oh, I think it's a uh, mixture of all of them, you know, because I listen to everything. I listen every day I get up, I put on Native American music. And uh, I uh, I go into a zone with that because I find it centering. And then I put Miles on or I'll, you know, um, put on uh, Klaus Ogerman. And, you know, I've, I have classic rock, you know, I have all these different styles and I have a one whole list of Cafe Del Mar, which is a lot of like eclectic world music. And then I love these uh, these new CDs that are put out with the world music from Brazil. And I love Brazilian music. I find it really passionate and amazing. And you well connected. You know, stay that way, you know. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you. I just want to ask you one more question. Uh, before we go, uh, did you talk? Uh, did we talk about your musical? No, we talked about your musical projects coming up. But do you have any uh, gigs coming up? Do I have any gigs coming? I will be actually sitting in on October second at the Baked Potato in Studio City with Brandon Fields, doing his gig there, uh, spending some time with his band, and then after that, nothing set in stone yet, but they'll be posted on my website very soon. Okay, very good. Well, Wendy, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I'm so glad we could meet and have this interview. Oh, thank you, James. Thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. I appreciate you getting Butterfly out there to the universe, and Brunel and I have been really trying to put that out there. You know, the, the Butterfly is a beautiful album, but a beautiful song, but the album itself uh, is, is really a nice album. Oh, his album is so outstanding. Yeah. I, I get chills when I when I hear all the songs and we spoke about Inequivocally So. Right, right. And I, I, I tell Vernell, I say every time I hear that song, you know, it reaches so deep in my soul. Oh, and, you know, he's such an amazing gift. He really is, you know, of our time, you know, one of the creative geniuses. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Well, Wendy, I'm going to bid you aloha, my dear, and I look forward to talking to you again. I will stay in touch, okay? Thank you so much, James. And thanks again. Aloha. Aloha.